I'm Dr. Christy Lynn Woods. I play the bassoon and I teach here at Grand Canyon University. In etude number one, it's in 6 8 time. So I recommend starting in six with the eighth note getting the beat and making sure your rhythm is really solid and really precise. Don't let your 16th notes compress. There's also a lot of extreme dynamic changes, sudden dynamic changes in this one. Really bring those out. There's a, a mezzo piano in measure three and again down on the bottom line. Scratch out the mezzo, make it piano so that I really hear a big difference between your opening forte and then your piano, your contrasting piano. This one also uh, is nice if it can have a bright feel to it, a light feel to it. So try to have a picture in mind of a, a sunny day as you're playing through it. In etude number two, this is a slower etude, but not really slow. You'll notice that the metronome marking is actually quarter note equals 88. So it should have a very legato and lyrical feel but don't let it fall too far under the tempo when you've finished putting it together and the beginning started under tempo. But then as you get it into those final stages, play it frequently with the metronome and make sure that you don't find yourself getting on the backside of the beat. It's marked appassionato passionately. So lots of singing through these notes, lots of nice long phrases. Uh, you're, Grace notes in the second line, those should have a nice smooth feel to them. So make sure that they're not pointed or aggressive in any way. You'll also notice that at the end, in the last three measures, we've got a minimoso. That means a little less. So that last tag can be slightly slower uh, and it's also diminuendo, al fine, and rallentando. So the ending should kind of trail off and slow down so that we really feel a sense of arrival. I will caution you to make sure that the last note is a full five beats. So make sure you're not cutting that off short. In etude number three, one of your biggest challenges is this key signature. So don't be afraid to grab a pencil and mark reminder accidentals wherever needed. Judges are gonna be looking for accuracy, number one. So your biggest job in this one is to make sure you have correct notes and correct rhythms. 
the tempo on this is quite fast. I can tell you that someone who plays it slightly under tempo but is accurate will score higher than somebody who plays it too fast and is not playing it cleanly. As you're working through this one, set your metronome slow to begin and gradually work your way up as you get more comfortable. When you're at those slow tempos, make sure at that point that you're hyper aware of the articulations and the dynamics. If you'll build these into your playing at the slower tempos, it'll be much easier to incorporate them at the faster tempos. Etude number four is another fast etude, another technical etude. So start it at a slow tempo. 5-8 time signature means that your eighth note is getting the beat. As you're working through this one slowly, be very aware of the articulations, which give it a lot of character. When you get to the third line, you'll notice that the rhythm gets a little tricky. As you're working through slowly, the eighth note is getting the beat, which means that the 16th note is getting half the beat. So it'll feel like eighth notes. And a lot of this will feel like it's landing on the up part of the beat. You can take your pencil and mark where each of the big beats will fall if that helps you with the syncopation. I'll do this under tempo. D, da, D. Da da di da da di da 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 Number five is another lyrical etude. However, this one has some very tricky rhythms. In this one, there's a lot of alternating between subdividing the beat in three and subdividing the beat in four. What I recommend as you're learning this is that you break those measures up. So for example, in the last measure of the first line, I would focus first on the triplets at a slow tempo. Triplet, triplet. When you feel really good and secure about those, then work on your 16th note. Three E and a one. Once you're feeling secure with both of those elements separately, then you can put them together. Triplet, triplet, three E and a one. The third line of this etude is particularly tricky. There are movements on parts of the beat that we don't typically move on, on the E part of the beat in a one E and a. Work through this very slowly. You might also notice at the end of that third line, it temporarily switches into 5-8 time. There are two measures of 5-8 time, which means that if your metronome is going at a steady tempo, if you leave it on, once you get through those two bars of 5-8, when you get to the fourth line, it will line up with the metronome again. There are a few musical elements to include in this one as well. At the end of the third line, there is a retard, and at the end of the etude, at the end of the fourth line, there's also a rallentando. Make sure you're including those to really add to the lyrical singing feel of this etude. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that the videos were helpful. Remember as you're putting this together to go slow, use a metronome, and be accurate. Good luck. I hope you have a great audition.